Introduction to the fascinating concept of ancient civilizations. These civilizations, which were established thousands of years ago, offer us a window into our collective past and provide valuable insights into the progression of human society. From the first settlements in Mesopotamia to the sophisticated urban centers of the Indus Valley, each civilization represents a unique chapter in the story of mankind. The selection of these 10 civilizations was not arbitrary. A number of criteria were employed to ensure that these civilizations truly represent the diversity and richness of human history. Firstly, geographical spread was an important factor. We wanted to include civilizations from various parts of the globe to underscore the universality of human progress. Secondly, longevity was also considered. Civilizations that stood the test of time, often spanning several centuries, were given preference as they offer more comprehensive insights into societal evolution. Another criterion was the civilization's influence on subsequent cultures and societies. Those that contributed significantly to the development of art, science, philosophy and governance, for example, found a place in our selection. In addition, the level of social and economic complexity was assessed. Civilizations that displayed a strong system of governance, advanced technological innovations, and demonstrated economic sophistication were prioritized. Lastly, we considered the availability of archaeological evidence and historical records. This is crucial as it aids in the reconstruction of these civilizations' lifestyles, socio-economic structures, and belief systems. This brings us to the importance of archaeology and historical research in understanding these ancient cultures. Archaeology, the scientific study of material, remains such as tools, pottery, jewelry, stone walls, and monuments, allows us to piece together the daily lives of our predecessors. It provides tangible evidence of human achievement and provides clues to societal organization, religious beliefs, and trade networks. Similarly, historical research, especially the study of primary sources such as ancient texts and inscriptions, give us a direct link to the past. These sources provide first-hand accounts of historical events, societal norms, and individual experiences, thus offering a nuanced understanding of these ancient civilizations. In conclusion, the exploration of these ten civilizations is not just an exercise in historical curiosity. It is a journey that takes us back to our roots, helps us appreciate our shared heritage, and offers invaluable lessons for our future. The importance of archaeology and historical research in understanding these ancient cultures can never be overstated. The Nile River, a geological masterpiece running through the heart of Egypt, is more than just a body of water. It is the lifeblood of an ancient civilization. This extraordinarily long river, the longest on Earth, is a vein that pumps vitality into Egypt, the land of mysteries and marvels. Despite its silent, slow flow, the Nile has an eloquent language whispering the tales of the mighty civilization it has cradled in its generous lap. This river doesn't just represent a geographical landmark, it was and still is the epitome of sustenance, providing the much-needed water and fertile soil for agriculture, the bedrock of ancient Egypt's economy. The Nile River was not just a source of life for the people, but a source of inspiration too. It motivated the Egyptians to construct awe-striking monuments, emblems of their architectural prowess, and among them the pyramids reign supreme. The pyramids, grand embodiments of ancient Egyptian civilization, were not merely tombs for pharaohs. They were a symbol of the people's massive respect for their rulers and their profound understanding of life, death, and the afterlife. Of all the pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Giza stands tall, a testament to the remarkable engineering skills of the Egyptians. Its construction, with mammoth blocks stacked meticulously, speaks volumes about the detailed planning and the ingenious techniques employed by the ancient builders. The Great Pyramid, a marvel that has stood the test of time, serves a mirror reflecting the sophisticated culture and advanced knowledge of the Egyptians. Daily life in ancient Egypt was as vibrant as the hues of the setting sun on the Nile. The pharaohs, considered the earthly embodiment of gods, enjoyed exalted status and immense power. Their decisions impacted every aspect of the citizens' lives from their religious practices to their daily routines. Religion was not just a belief system in ancient Egypt, it was deeply woven into their everyday life. Temples were not merely places for worship, they were centers of social interaction, education and commerce. 
The ancient Egyptians had a unique way of communicating their thoughts and ideas hieroglyphics. These mysterious symbols, beautifully etched on temple walls or inscribed on papyrus, were not just an artistic expression. They carried the weight of history, culture, and knowledge. Hieroglyphics served as the voice of a civilization that continues to echo through time, reminding us of the grandeur of a time gone by. Geography of the Fertile Crescent. This region, shaped like a crescent moon, is a fertile space rich in resources and fertile soil, hence its name. It spans across several important regions in the Middle East, including present-day Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine and Israel, as well as parts of Turkey and Iran. Tracing back to ancient times, this region was home to a number of significant civilizations, including the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians, Assyrians and Persians, who flourished in this rich, fertile land, pioneers in society, culture and technology. They left behind a legacy that is still visible today. They constructed intricate architectural marvels, the most prominent being the ziggurats. These were massive, multi-tiered structures thought to have been built as religious temples. They were believed to be literal bridges between heaven and earth, with the gods residing at the top. Their religious significance was profound, as they were seen as the sacred homes of the gods, where priests could communicate with the divine. The ziggurats were centers of spiritual and communal life, deeply woven into the cultural fabric of the societies that built them. The Fertile Crescent was also a hub of significant contributions to human civilization. One such contribution was the development of cuneiform writing. This early form of writing, consisting of wedge-shaped marks made on clay tablets, represented one of the first known systems of writing in the world. It was used for a variety of purposes, from keeping trade records to telling epic tales and was a crucial stepping stone in the evolution of written communication. Another monumental contribution was the Code of Hammurabi. This was a set of laws established by the Babylonian king Hammurabi and is one of the oldest deciphered writings of significant length in the world. It outlined a variety of laws and punishments ranging from property rights to trade regulations and criminal justice, providing a glimpse into the societal norms and legal systems of the time. Contributions like cuneiform writing and the Code of Hammurabi, advanced urban planning and architecture of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. These ancient cities housed the earliest known examples of meticulously planned urban spaces. The city structures reveal a civilization that was far ahead of its time. The city planning was based on a grid system with broad, straight, well-defined streets. The architecture was uniform, indicating a firm control of the government or a well-established set of standards. There were systems in place for proper waste disposal, drainage, and even water storage. This level of sophistication was quite unparalleled for its time. Let's take a moment to appreciate the scale and precision of these ancient cities. Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were structured with remarkable mathematical accuracy. Their planning and architecture speak volumes about the Indus Valley civilization's understanding of urban planning, geometry, and public health. Not to mention the citadels, which were raised platforms used for religious or administrative purposes. These citadels were a central feature of the city, indicating a robust political or religious system. They were surrounded by granaries, workshops and residential buildings. Moreover, the still undeciphered script found on pottery, seals and amulets adds another layer of complexity and intrigue. These scripts hint at a literate society with a developed system of communication. The symbols, still shrouded in mystery, speak volumes about the civilization's intellectual prowess. The trade networks of the Indus Valley civilization were equally impressive. They had well-established trade links with Mesopotamia, as evidenced by the seals and pottery found in both regions. Their trading systems were complex and efficient, and their goods reached far corners of the ancient world. While we marvel at the achievements of this civilization, many theories circulate about its decline. Some researchers attribute it to natural disasters like floods or droughts. Others believe that invasions by foreign tribes led to its downfall. The truth, however, still eludes us. Theories about the civilization's decline continue to intrigue scholars and researchers around the world. This ancient civilization, with its advanced urban planning and unfathomable scripts, leaves behind a legacy that continues to fascinate us the early dynasties and the concept of the Mandate of Heaven. 
This idea, steeped in centuries of tradition and cultural ideologies, held a tremendous influence. The concept of the mandate of heaven is a fascinating element of Chinese history. It is a political theory that was created by the Zhou dynasty to justify their overthrow of the Shang dynasty. According to this theory, heaven granted its mandate to a just ruler, the son of heaven, and would revoke it if the ruler became despotic, leading to his overthrow. This intertwined relationship between theology and politics led to a complex system of governance that was not only practiced, but also fiercely protected throughout the course of history. The concept of the mandate of heaven was seen as an essential part of maintaining stability within the empire, a civilizational imperative that was intricately tied to the culture and belief systems of the Chinese people. The Great Wall, an architectural marvel, is another essential part of China's historical narrative. It was initially built for military purposes to protect the Chinese empire from nomadic invasions. The Great Wall stretches over 13,000 miles from east to west. It is not just an enormous structure, but also a testament to the engineering feats of ancient China. It is a symbol of the endurance and perseverance of the Chinese people, a symbol of unity, strength, and the collective might of a civilization that managed to construct something of such magnitude. Then comes the Terracotta Army, a collection of sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. It is a form of funerary art buried with the emperor in 210-209 BCE with the purpose of protecting the emperor in his afterlife. The figures, dating from approximately the late 3rd century BCE, were discovered in 1974 by local farmers in Lintong County outside Xi'an, Shanxi, China. It includes warriors, chariots, and horses, providing a glimpse into the military organization and weaponry of the time. Following this, we dive into the philosophies that defined an era. Confucianism and Taoism, two ideologies that have had profound and lasting impacts on Chinese society. Confucianism revolves around the concepts of respect for one's elders, reverence for one's ancestors, and the importance of education. Taoism, on the other hand, emphasizes living in harmony with the Tao, a term that translates to way, path, or principle. These two philosophies, while different, coexisted in harmony and shaped the social fabric of ancient China, influencing its cultural, political, and ethical norms. In conclusion, the early dynasties, the Mandate of Heaven, the Great Wall, the Terracotta Army, and the philosophies of Confucianism and Taoism form the rich tapestry of China's historical narrative. The palaces, particularly those belonging to the ancient site of Knossos, are an architectural wonder, a testimony to the brilliance of Minoan culture. These are not just palaces, they are sprawling complexes, labyrinthine in design, as intricate as they are grand. Each survey of the ruins reveals a new layer, a new complexity, a new marvel of ancient engineering. The palaces of Knossos, with their complex layout, are a reflection of the advanced nature of Minoan civilization. Each corner of these grand structures exhibits dexterity in design, a genius in planning, and a profound understanding of aesthetics. The interior is adorned with frescoes that depict life in Minoan society, revealing a culture that valued art, creativity, and beauty. The vibrant murals and sculptures tell a story, not just of the Minoan rulers, but of the common people, their way of life, and their beliefs. Minoan art plays a significant role in our understanding of this civilization. The frescoes, pottery, and sculptures exhibit a sophisticated grasp of form and function. The art is not just ornamental, it is symbolic, telling the tale of a society steeped in religion and mythology. One such myth from the Minoan civilization is the tale of the Minotaur, a creature half man, half bull, trapped in a labyrinth designed by the master craftsman Daedalus. This myth, painted in vivid hues on the palace walls, provides fascinating insights into the Minoans' belief system and their worldview, revealing a society that found meaning and guidance in myths and legends. However, these artistic marvels, the sprawling palaces, the myths that have captured the imagination of generations, eventually declined. Theories abound about the reasons for this civilization's decline. Some suggest internal conflict, others point to an invasion. But one theory that has gained significant traction is the Thera eruption. The Thera eruption, one of the most massive volcanic eruptions in human history, could have caused significant damage to the Minoan civilization. 
The ash clouds would have darkened the skies, the seismic waves would have caused tremors, and the tsunamis that followed would have washed away entire settlements. This catastrophic event might have been the death knell for this once flourishing civilization. The city-states, specifically ones like Athens and Sparta, are evidence of the intricate nature of Greek civilization. Athens, known for its intellectual supremacy, was a hub of art, philosophy, and knowledge, while Sparta, on the other hand, was renowned for its military prowess and strict social order. The cities not only played a central role in the development of Greek society, but they also shaped the Mediterranean world in their own unique ways. Athens, often considered the birthplace of Western civilization, was the heart of cultural, political, and intellectual life in Greece. It was home to many great philosophers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, who laid the foundation of Western philosophy. Their ideas and teachings continue to influence modern thought and discourse. The city was also known for its direct democracy, where every citizen had a vote, an idea which has shaped political systems across the world. The city-state of Sparta, on the other hand, was a society built on discipline, obedience, and military skill. Unique in its approach to governance and societal structure, Sparta was a warrior society that prided itself on its military might. Its citizens were trained for war since childhood, and their strict regimented life was aimed at creating a strong and disciplined society. The Greeks were also the founders of the Olympic Games, a celebration of human physical prowess and competitive spirit. Started as a religious festival in honor of Zeus, the Olympics became a symbol of unity and peace among the city-states. Athletes from different corners of the Greek world would gather and compete in various events, promoting a spirit of friendly competition and mutual respect. Architectural achievements like the Parthenon symbolized the Greeks' love for aesthetics and their understanding of balance and proportion. The Parthenon, a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, is an epitome of Doric architecture. Its symmetrical structure, detailed sculptures, and ornamental friezes capture the essence of Greek artistic excellence, further testifying to the Greeks' profound influence on the course of human history. Thus, the Greek city-states, especially Athens and Sparta, their philosophy, democracy, the Olympic Games, and architectural marvels like the Parthenon serve as enduring symbols of the rich Greek civilization. The expansion of Rome and its architectural marvels, it was no ordinary city. It was as if the gods themselves had descended from the heavens to carve out this masterpiece on earth. Rome, the eternal city, had an architectural grandeur that was unparalleled. The buildings and structures were of such a magnitude that they seemed to defy the very laws of physics and engineering. Each brick and stone seemed to tell a story, a narrative of power, conquest, and unyielding ambition that permeated the air. From the cobblestone streets leading to monumental structures, to the intricately designed arches and domes that towered over the city, the architectural brilliance of Rome was a testament to its imperial glory. It was a city that had grown from a tiny village on the banks of the Tiber River to a sprawling metropolis that had conquered the known world, and all of this was reflected in its infrastructure. The daily life in Rome was an extraordinary spectacle of human interaction. The Colosseum, one of the grandest architectural feats, was the epitome of entertainment. It stood majestically, its colossal structure dwarfing everything in its vicinity. Here, gladiatorial games were a spectacle of epic proportions. Men fought against beasts and each other, cheered on by roaring crowds that thrived on the adrenaline and drama of the spectacle. The clang of weapons, the roar of the crowd, the cheers and the jeers all added to the grandeur of the event. The Colosseum was more than just a building. It was a symbol of Rome's indomitable spirit and zest for life. Living in Rome was like being a part of a grand performance. From senators debating in the forum to vendors haggling in the markets, from poets reciting verses in the gardens to musicians playing in the amphitheaters, every aspect of daily life was imbued with vibrancy and vigor the legacy of Roman law and governance, a legacy that has had a profound influence on the modern world. From the concept of republicanism to the principles of jurisprudence, the legal and political system of Rome laid the foundation for many of the democratic ideals we uphold today. Administrative divisions, legal codes, and concepts of citizenship, all were the gifts of Rome to the world. 
Even after centuries, the impact of Roman law on governance continues to shape the way societies are structured and governed. It was the administrative acumen and legal sagacity of the Romans that made their empire one of the most enduring and influential in history. The city-states of the Maya, including Tikal and Chichen Itza, undoubtedly stands as a testament to the prowess of ancient civilizations. Enveloped in the jungles of Central America, these city-states were once the cradle of a sophisticated, vibrant society, which is still revered as one of the most advanced pre-Columbian civilizations in history. Tikal, located in what is now modern-day Guatemala, was one of the dominant kingdoms of the Mayans. Through the course of its existence, it was home to an estimated population reaching into the tens of thousands. The city was a central hub for the Mayan civilization, prominent both in terms of political and militaristic influence. Tikal's monumental architecture, grand plazas, and intricate system of causeways are a stunning representation of the city's historical significance. On the Yucatan Peninsula, the Mayan city of Chichen Itza emerged as another crucial center. Known for its awe-inspiring pyramid, El Castillo, this city is a symbol of the Mayan understanding of astronomical phenomena. Its structures, arranged according to astronomical events, showcase the Mayans' in-depth knowledge of the universe and its cycles. The achievements of the Maya in fields such as mathematics and astronomy are indeed profound. They developed the concept of zero, an intellectual leap that revolutionized their numerical system. Furthermore, their astronomical observations were remarkably accurate, and they used these to devise their complex calendar system. The Maya calendar, consisting of the Harb, Tzolkin, and the Long Count, was not only a measure of time, but also a significant cultural and religious tool. However, the enigma of the Mayan civilization's decline is a topic that continues to perplex historians and archaeologists. Despite the grandeur of their city-states and the advancements they made in various fields, the Mayan civilization gradually faded. The reasons behind this regression are complex and multifaceted, ranging from environmental factors to internal warfare and socio-political instability. While much of the Mayan civilization has been buried in the annals of time, their enduring legacy can still be seen. The remnants of their city-state stand as silent witnesses to the rise and fall of a civilization that once held sway over Mesoamerica. Their contributions in mathematics, astronomy, and their intricate calendar system are a testament to their intellect and ingenuity. The enigma of the Maya civilization's decline, however, remains shrouded in the mists of history, the Achaemenid Empire and its extent. The vast reach of this empire, prominent in ancient history, is a testament to the strength of its ruling class. The Achaemenid Empire was a monumental force that extended across three continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe. Its expanse covered around 5.5 million square kilometers, making it the largest empire the world had seen till that point in history. Originating in Persis, now known as Persia or Iran, it was a fountainhead of power and influence reaching east to the Indus Valley and west to the Aegean Sea. An empire so vast in its boundaries was a dominion that could only be maintained and controlled by the efficient administrative system that the Persians had set in place. At the heart of this empire was Persepolis, a city that was not just a political capital, but also a cultural hub. The city was an economic powerhouse that served as a meeting point for traders traveling from all different directions, it was a melting pot of cultures and ideas, thus reflecting the diverse nature of the empire. The Royal Road, a remarkable feat of engineering, was a symbol of the empire's infrastructure and its importance to trade and communication. Stretching over 2,500 kilometers, this road allowed swift travel for officials, couriers, and armies. It was dotted with rest stations and forts, ensuring the safety and comfort of those who traversed it. This road was a lifeline for the empire, facilitating fast and efficient communication and transportation which were vital for maintaining a seamless connection between the vast territories. Furthermore, the Achaemenid Empire was not just about military power and territorial conquests. It was also a cradle of cultural innovations. The Persians were visionaries when it came to art, architecture and governance. They adopted and assimilated elements from the various cultures they had conquered 
creating a unique blend of diversity that was reflected in their architecture, language and customs. The Persians also established an effective administrative system, dividing the empire into provinces known as satrapies. Each satrapy was governed by a satrap, or governor, who was responsible for maintaining law and order and collecting taxes. The satrap was appointed by and reported directly to the king, ensuring a unified and controlled governance, the administrative and cultural innovations of the Persians. This aspect of their empire is as impressive as their military might and territorial extent, contributing significantly to the legacy they left behind. The magnificence of Angkor Wat and other temple complexes is a sight to behold. A masterpiece of Khmer architecture, Angkor Wat was built to symbolize the Hindu vision of the cosmos. Its grandeur is seen in its intricate bas-reliefs and the sheer scale of its moats, towers and walls. Encased within these walls are galleries that house thousands of exquisite Apsara carvings, each one a testament to the artistic prowess of the Khmer craftsmen. Every stone tells a story bringing to life the rich history and mythology of the Khmer people. But Angkor Wat is not the only awe-inspiring temple complex in Cambodia. The Bayon, with its enigmatic stone faces and elaborate carvings depicting everyday life, captures the essence of the Buddhist philosophy of compassion and wisdom. Taprom, embraced by the roots of towering trees, is a poignant reminder of the relentless march of time. And Preya Khan, a sprawling monastery and city complex, showcases the Khmer Empire's architectural innovation and sophistication. The hydraulic systems of the Khmer Empire were equally impressive. They developed an intricate water management system that included massive reservoirs, canals, and irrigation channels. This system not only helped the empire withstand periods of drought, but also facilitated wet rice cultivation, fueling the growth of the population and the economy. The advanced agricultural techniques of the Khmer Empire were instrumental in its rise to power. They cultivated a variety of crops such as rice, fruits and vegetables, utilizing the fertile lands fertilized by the Ton Lesap Lake and the Mekong River. Their innovative farming methods, coupled with a robust trade network, made the Khmer Empire one of the most prosperous in Southeast Asia. Despite these achievements, the empire was not immune to decline. Over time, many factors contributed to the fall of the Khmer Empire. These include the constant wars with neighboring kingdoms, the depletion of natural resources, and the changing religious beliefs of the people. However, the most notable cause was the empire's inability to adapt to significant climate changes. Prolonged periods of drought followed by intense monsoon rains led to the failure of their water management system, resulting in widespread famine and social unrest. The reasons behind the decline of the Khmer Empire serve as a stark reminder of the impermanence of even the most powerful empires, underscoring the importance of adaptation and sustainability in the face of changing circumstances. To refresh our memories, let's look back on the crucial importance of understanding ancient civilizations. These societies of antiquity, some of which we'll explore further today, form the very foundation of the world as we know it. They reveal the stories of human endeavors, struggles, triumphs, and failures that have shaped our contemporary societies. From the grandeur of the Egyptian pyramids to the mystique of the Mayan temples, the architectural accomplishments of these civilizations stun us with their complexity and intricacy. They showcase the ingenuity of humanity, even in the absence of modern technology. The depth of their understanding of mathematics, physics, and astronomy boggles the mind and inspires awe. In understanding ancient civilizations, we unravel the mystery of our ancestors' ways of life. We discover how they worshipped, how they fought, how they loved, and how they died. In this exploration, we gain insights into the genesis of our own customs, traditions, and beliefs. Moreover, the study of ancient civilizations helps us appreciate the immense diversity of human culture. We can marvel at the differences, yet find common threads that bind us all together. Our ancestors might have lived in separate parts of the world and developed distinct cultures, yet they all shared the fundamental human instincts for survival, creativity and curiosity. Beyond mere historical interest, understanding ancient civilizations has practical implications as well. 
from political systems to agricultural practices, from medical knowledge to artistic expression, these societies have bequeathed us invaluable wisdom that still holds true today. They have lessons to offer about sustainability, diplomacy, warfare, and even about dealing with pandemics. Lastly, the mystery and beauty of ancient civilizations make learning about them an adventure in itself. Every artifact unearthed, every manuscript decoded, every excavation site explored, unfurls a story waiting to be told. I wholeheartedly encourage you to dive deeper into the histories of these fascinating cultures, to step into their shoes and to see the world through their eyes. There's a myriad of resources available for you to delve into the heart of these civilizations, to understand their beliefs, customs, social structures and achievements. In conclusion, understanding ancient civilizations isn't just about unearthing the past, it's about comprehending our present and potentially influencing our future. I hope this video has piqued your interest and ignited a thirst to learn more. As always, if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe, like, or comment. We appreciate your support and engagement.